travel across America with me. And today we're going to the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum. It only costs five bucks and it's in downtown Milwaukee. There is so much to see, let's go up. The National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum's collection has grown gradually, currently numbering in the 10,000s. Co-founders Brad Novak and Phil Sklar began to acquire bobbleheads in 2004 and had a collection of several thousand by 2014. They decided it was time to share their bobbleheads with the world and the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum open to the public on February 1st, 2019. Let me know how many of these bobbleheads you recognize, and there's one of my favorites. I love Teddy. Lots of characters from our childhood. Chinese nodding head figures are documented in England and continental Europe as early as the 1760s. Johann Zoffany's famous portrait depicting Queen Charlotte in her dressing room at Buckingham Palace was painted around 1765 and shows two such figures in the background. Nodding head figures were imported into England, Europe, and America from Canton in large numbers beginning in the 1780s. The great interest for these figures in England was derived in part from the personal taste of the Prince of Wales later George IX, during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Many figures of this type were prominently displayed in the corridor of the pavilion at Buckingham Palace. This circa 1800 pair of painted plaster nodding head figures of a mandarin man and his wife, each with outstretched hands and dressed in floral and gilt heightened robes mounted on parcel gilt and simulated marble wood bases measuring nearly 16 inches tall, sold for $35,925 at an auction in 2010. Bobblehead dolls were first referenced in print in 1842 by writer Nikolai Gogol in the Russian short story The Overcoat. He described the main character Akiki as having a neck which was like the neck of plaster cats which wagged their heads. And here we find the Beatles. In 1964 popularity was growing for bobbleheads of all types. The Beatles bobblehead set has become one of the most iconic and is a valuable collectible. I bet so. They have a complete timeline of the bobbleheads. And on the website, they give a history of the Bobblehead Hall of Fame Museum. And did you know that January 7th is officially designated as National Bobblehead Day? I bet you didn't know that. I didn't know that. Please be sure to subscribe. And if you have, thank you. And if you haven't, could you do that right now? Thank you. And everyone's favorite artist, Bob Ross. And look at all these characters. Boy, there's quite a range of uh, people in this one, isn't there? From the Queen Mom to Uncle Sam and the Pope to the Statue of Liberty to Ronald Reagan. From commandos to generals, from singers to models, from presidential candidates to presidents to queens to Rosie the Riveter. How many of these characters can you identify? Tell me in the comments below. It's all done in fun, isn't it? They do a really good job, whoever makes these things. This guy is very fitting for a bobblehead. He ought to be bobble knees, right? You can get your own custom bobblehead made. Well, that would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.